Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Finn and this is your snack for the journey. And this uh, week we're having a special snack, not only in our uh, new setting here in uh, church library, but also during this weird season that we're going through. You're going through, I'm going through, and probably you're at home and uh, you can watch these uh, videos and we are walking through every every week from monday through friday that is the, the idea we're walking from books of the bible so we every every week we have a different book and and as i said i, I thought that well maybe i should talk about something more related to the situation that we're going through but the book of numbers has a wonderful lessons and verses for us about the situation that we're going through and I'd like to share with you uh, it's it's one after the other and, and there is a, a Bible verse it's a prophecy in the book of uh, numbers that I'd like to share with you verse chapter 24 verse 17 I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter will rise out of Israel. He will crush the foreheads of Moab, the skulls of all the sons of Sheth. A star will come out of Jacob. Now this is Balaam. We, we saw the, the yesterday Balaam, the prophet, the false prophet, prophesying. And it's, it's so interesting because uh, it, this is one of the most important prophecies about Jesus. And this guy is prophesying. And he is a false prophet. He was, he was there for the money. This is what he was well known he was there for the money and god told him you're not going to prophesy against my against my people and he was talking and every time that he opens opens uh, opens his mouth he, it, it comes not a curse but comes a blessing and a prophecy and this prophecy is a beautiful prophecy about jesus because we know this prophecy every christmas we read this and we don't know that this number sometimes we it, it doesn't connect and we don't know that is Balaam saying those things a false prophet he was able to see that a star was coming a star the same star that brought the Magi to Bethlehem pointing to Jesus pointing to Jesus a star will come out of Jacob that is Jesus a scepter will rise out of Israel. They control the government. The king is a prophecy about the Messiah that would come. The king that would come. And this king came. The Messiah came. The Lord came and now the scepter is in his hand he is sitting on the throne and he governed not only the church he governed the whole universe he's sitting on the throne this is the vision that john had in the in the, in the book of revelations he is sitting on the throne my friend, no matter what happened in this world, no matter what happened in your life, in your city, no matter what happened in your family, Jesus is sitting on the throne and the scepter is in his hands. He governs. He governs. That is great news. You know, it seems that everything is going crazy and out of control and we don't know what to do, what's going to happen, all that kind of thing. This prophecy here helps us to understand that, yes, the star came. Yes, the scepter is in his 
hand in his hand in verse 19 said the ruler will come out of Jacob the ruler yes Jesus is sitting on the throne right now he didn't lose his control everything is under his control and he loves you and me that's great news and this is your snack for the journey God bless you.